Okay. <laughs> My daughter said yes, and then she said no. <laughs> I was trying to reconnect. It said <laughs> okay. Well, hey there, everyone. Joy Kekavik, Norwex Independent Consultant, and I'm super excited that you're joining. And I want you to please ask as many questions as you'd like as we go through here. I'm going to share with you the products that I use in my bathroom when I'm cleaning my bathroom. So this is going to give you a really great snapshot, kind of a picture of what Norwex is all about. And one of the things that I absolutely love about Norwex is how simple it is. So we're going to start with my Enviro cloth and my window cloth. And my Enviro cloth is an all-purpose cleaner cloth. It's super thick and absorbent and all you need is water. So when you get your cloth, you'll run it underneath the faucet and get it wet. And then Angela bring it out. Saber has says hi Joy. Hey Angela. All right, so I'm wringing this out really, really good because what I want to do is I want to clean with the microfiber. So in order to do that, I want the microfiber to connect with my surface. So I wring that water out, but this is going to pick up all the dirt, the grime, etc. In fact, it will pick up to 99% of bacteria off of the surface. And so it's very simple to use and it keeps your surfaces clean and healthy. So I'm going to start with my mirror. I use my EnviroCloth flat. The tricky part with this is my lights are pretty hot. So it does start to dry right away. So I'm going to go over it just one more time up here and then I'll lightly dry with my window cloth. And then it'll come to that beautiful streak free shine. Now I'll take my Enviro cloth and I'm going to continue to clean. I'm going to just keep things simple and not worry about moving that right now. But I'll clean this whole vanity. When you're cleaning with Norwex, you are mechanically cleaning. That means you are actually removing the dirt and the grime. And you can feel when you're coming across some resistance. So on this black granite, it's pretty easy for me to see if I've got some buildup and stuff. But on my white um, sink is sometimes a little challenging to see, but I can feel when I have that dirt and that grime in there. So I'm going to go back here behind. I get some water, hard, hard water buildup back in here. So I'm going to see if you can kind of hear the difference. So I don't know if you could hear that, almost like a scrubbing sound. Here, let's see if you can hear it again. And then it's gone, that sound is gone when that hard water is removed. Say in the comments if you can hear it. Thanks, Connie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just taking my Enviro cloth now and <clears throat> going over the fixtures. Super fast and easy. Use my fingernails a little bit to get some of that build up there. Now using it folded in quarters can be a little challenging inside the sink, so I usually open it up. But again, I can feel when I've gotten the grime off. So all that toothpaste build up, makeup build up, and I just am using a cloth and water. So what am I not using? Chemicals. Chemicals. Not using anything toxic. I mean bathrooms are like, a lot of times they're not a whole lot of ventilation, right? Mm -hmm. So cleaning a bathroom with those traditional cleaners gives people headaches, makes their throats scratchy or itchy, makes their eyes hurt. So I use a little bit of pressure with my nails when I'm going around here just to get all that stuff off. Super, super, super fast and easy. Now it's been a while since I've cleaned my sink, so I actually have quite a bit of lint inside here. So I'm going to rub the fibers together on my cloth, rinse it out. 
And then I'll just take my cloth and help to rinse those little linty fibers away. Sorry. <laughs> just gotcha, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Another thing we're not using, we're not using any paper towel. Ooh, that's a good one. So a lot of times when we are thinking about cleaning, especially in the bathroom, we go through tons and tons and tons of paper towel. And that gets to be very costly. In fact, it's probably one of the more costly things. All right, so far so good. Any questions? So this cloth and water. If I get spots on my clothing, I will use this cloth. If I get spots on like this little area rug down here, I will use this cloth. So nothing really is off limits with the Enviro cloth. It really truly is an all-purpose cleaner cloth. I recommend every home have at least three. Yes. How many, how, how long will this stretch if you unravel it? Oh, well that's a great question. So the microfiber on this particular cloth is super, super densely woven. And if you were to unstretch or to unravel it, it would stretch from Canada to Mexico. That one cloth. This one cloth. So it's almost 10 million feet of fiber. And um, that really what that does is it creates a huge surface area. So that's why you can clean with only water. So all of our microfiber has a couple of really unique qualities. One is that it's lined with microsilver, which helps to um, self-purify the cloth. And the second is how tiny each of the fibers are. So if you can imagine one piece of your hair split 200 times, that's how tiny each of the fibers are in our microfiber cloths. So this Enviro cloth is woven super tight and is designed to pick up all the dirt, the grime, etc. How old is that one? This one's a few years old. They will, they have a two year warranty, but they last most people seven to 10 years. So think about not having to go down the cleaning aisle for that long or forever, anytime. You're just gonna have stuff that you can keep reusing and that's where the huge savings come into play. Mm -hmm. The window cloth, has a little bit more of a satiny feel to it and it's designed and woven to clean and polish. So it's a different, definitely a different weave. But they both have that 1 200th the size of a human hair in diameter and they have the micro silver. Alright, so now what I typically do next is I would clean my toilet and yes, I use my Enviro cloth to clean the outside of my toilet. Alright, so I go over all of the junk, get all the icky stuff off, super fast and easy. I'll make sure I get behind here as well. And then let me turn. Yeah, I was trying to figure that out. I'm going to light on oh. here just so that it's just a little bit brighter. And then to clean the inside of the toilet bowl, I use a couple drops of our bathroom cleaner. So I literally just a couple of small drops and then our ergonomic toilet brush. So what's really cool about the ergonomic toilet brush is it is also lined with micro silver. So it won't inhibit, it won't grow any bacteria. It prohibits the growth of that bacteria, mold, mildew, anything icky. It's made with silicone, so it does take a little getting used to, but it won't leave any of those micro scratches in your toilet like traditional brushes do. And when you have the micro scratches in your toilet, that's when you can start getting all those stains that seem almost impossible to get out. Now this little lip, so you see just a few drops and see how sudsy it's, it is? So this little lip here will get underneath the rim of your toilet bowl. So that makes that nice and easy to clean that. And also because you're kind of more mechanically cleaning, you'll be able to feel when you have that biofilm off. 
so that when I'm done, I'll rinse, and then I'll kind of rinse my brush in there, tap that out, and put it back in the holder. So the holder helps it to sit up above, so it doesn't actually sit on the bottom of that holder. It kind of hangs above so it can drip dry. Does and it come with picky. that? Yes. Okay, it comes with that. It comes with the holder. All right, I'm going to take my Enviro cloth, rinse it out, and I'll refold it. So typically I do my toilet last, but I wanted to just kind of talk about the Enviro cloth and such first. So typically what I'll do is, you know, everything in my bathroom, and then I'll lastly go around and clean all my toilets. Alright, so another tool that I have to have in my bathroom is my dusting mitt. So our dusting mitt is a mega fan fave. <laughs> I love having a couple of these, one on each hand. But it has a nice, soft, higher pile, and so it actually picks up and traps dust. So this is super handy for like my windowsills any kind of knickknacks or things like that that I have in my bathroom. Tops of these switches, top of that backsplash. No wax hand towel. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no wax hand towel. Any of that toilet paper dust that I might have just kind of sitting around in here. I will just quickly go over these surfaces and it just picks up and traps the dust. So over here, here we've got lots and lots oh, yeah. of dust. And it's gone. Super fast and easy. That toilet paper leaves a lot of dust. Everybody's toilet paper does. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> but you can see kind of a little bit of the dust that I picked up. And it's just very fast. So pick. imagine picking up your knickknacks and things like that that you're dusting. Super, super fast and easy, and then you're not leaving any sticky residue. And traditional cleaners, that's kind of what they do. They make you think that you're cleaning something when in fact you're just leaving a residue behind. I want to just take a moment to see, has anybody ever used pop-up wipes before? Because I think probably most of us have. And what I never Don't even you. realized was that there's instructions on the bottle. So I gotta take my glasses off for this one because the print is super, super tiny. But the instructions actually say that if you wanna disinfect a surface, allow to remain wet for 10 minutes. Mm. And then allow the surface to air dry. Toss the dirty wipe away. I, I love how they use just dirty wipe. How many wipes do you think you'd actually have to use to keep the surface wet for 10 minutes? Probably a lot. And this is the stuff that is getting used at our kids' schools, right? It's sitting on their desks. It's not actually doing anything. It's just sitting on their desk. It's not disinfecting it the way that we think it is because we're just doing a quick little wipe. And then that chemical is introduced into our bodies, into our bloodstream. Um, this also will tell you some specific instruction, instructions if you're coming into contact with a food surface, how you have to clean it off again. Um, so the chemical residue that's left behind, it actually just attracts more dust, dirt, etc. So if you're using a dusting polish, um, you're attracting more dust and dirt because you're putting something sticky on your surface. If you're using a chemical to clean your floors, you're leaving behind a residue and you're attracting more dust and dirt to your surface and so you have to clean more frequently. Same kind of concept if you're using a chemical in your shower. You are leaving something behind that is sticky. That chemical residue is sticky and all it does is attract more dust and dirt and grime. So you have to clean more frequently. So not only is cleaning with Norwex super fast and easy, you are gonna have to clean less frequently because you aren't putting something sticky and icky on your surface. Does that kind of make sense? So no harmful chemicals that you're touching, inhaling, any of those things. So it's safer. No um, chemical residue left behind. So you're not cleaning as frequently. And, of course, 
nothing that you throw in away, nothing that's disposable. All right, so next I want to tackle my shower. So for that, I'm going to introduce to you... Lasser, Lasser, Lasser. Yeah, I know. There's so many Norwex products in this bathroom, and we I don't even have time to talk about them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if you notice them. <laughs> so I'm going to talk with you next about the cleaning paste. This is like your elbow grease in a jar. And, of course, I dropped it, so mine is way too powdery. So I'm going to bring this over to the sink just so I have a little bit more control. Because I don't actually need this much. I'm going to just kind of rub it into my cloth just a little bit here. And then I'll shake it off. Is that the same cloth you used earlier? It is the same cloth I used earlier. So you get please it forgive me. <laughs> Alright, so what this does, the cleaning paste actually helps to cut the grime off of your shower surface faster. So if you have any soap residue or scum in here, it just really makes it nice and fast and easy. And then it's great for getting into the grout. So sometimes I don't need to worry about using my cleaning paste in the shower. And then other times I do use it. Just depends on if I've been keeping up well with it. So now I'm going to turn it over to the other side and I'll wipe the residue away. If I was getting ready to take a shower, I'd probably just wait and then rinse it off. But what I also love about the cleaning paste is it's going to cut through any of that hard water buildup too on my glass shower door. So I'm going to throw a little bit more on here. Again, I don't really need that much. So one jar of this is probably going to last the average household maybe four years or so depending on how often you're using it. Because initially you might have to use it more frequently until you get all your stuff super clean. And then after that, you probably just need to use your cloth. So I'm going to use this nice and flat. I'll just kind of clean a section here so that you'll be able to compare. But like I said, you're mechanically cleaning. So when you're going over your surface, you want to use this flat. You want it to connect with your surface. And you want to be able to kind of feel that you've gotten the residue off. So I'm going to flip that around. Take the cleaning paste off. I could feel that I had gotten the hard water spots. And the cleaning paste also has no chemicals? No harmful ingredients. It's natural soap, a little coconut oil, ground marble flour. A couple other basic essentials that go with the natural soap too. So the window cloth helps to clean and polish, bring it to a nice streak-free shine. But the cleaning paste helps to remove that excess hard water buildup. You can see which part I stopped at. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, my mm -hmm. wonderful assistant. Mm -hmm. So this just really packs a powerful punch. So the cleaning paste I use throughout the home, um, stove tops, inside your oven, uh, inside your stainless steel sinks or your porcelain sinks, uh, your fixtures that you might want to have, like a little extra buffing or, sh or shining. Uh, what we don't recommend it for would be natural stone, granite, marble, that kind of thing. Because because it's a small particle, we don't want that to actually um, get embedded into the stone. And there's instructions with all of this so that you know how and where and what you can use it with. People um, love using it maybe to clean the whites of their sneakers. Uh, you know, it's just it's just an amazing little tool. Really, truly is an elbow grease. In a jar. Scuff marks on your floors, you name it. It's just packs a little nice little punch. Some people use it for um, carpet stain removal. Get a little bit on your Enviro cloth and you can clean that up super fast and easy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I feel like I'm wasting my cleaning paste. <laughs> well, I'll go ahead and rinse that down the sink. Don't waste the paste, Mom. <laughs> Rinse this out really, really well. 
So Enviro cloth, again, your all-purpose cleaner cloth, you just get it damp, and you can clean just about anything. Window cloth, this comes into play when you want something to be nice, streak-free, and shiny. So all your windows, your glass, your mirrors, your stainless steel appliances. So first, clean with your damp Enviro cloth. Second, lightly dry with your window cloth. Dusting mitt, you use it dry to pick up and trap dust, or you can use it damp to clean. So I use this damp to clean like window screens, or if I'm cleaning maybe some blinds that have like some more of a caked on, built up dust, then I'll use this slightly damp. Um, so just, you can, I mean, you can't go wrong with just using water. So you can play around with your stuff and see how it works and what works best for you. Another really cool duster that I've brought in here is our Enviro wand. I love this thing. It bends. You can get high, high up places and in between places and hard to reach places. Ceiling fan blades. Add it to our mop handle. So that's longer. Super, super handy. But I noticed that I had some wispies up here. It's probably not going to be all that visible on camera. But I do have some just little spider web type stuff. So I will take and dust that off. Probably would have been better for me to start with that since I now just sprinkled dust on my vanity. But we'll just pretend. You know, you too can be a Norwex consultant. You can do stuff out of order and it's all going to be fine. <laughs> um, but I love this too for like this little back corner. This is kind of a trickier spot for me to get to. So I just take the wand, dust the side, and then I'll dust the floor. Just so that I can get that picked up. And then I'll just go right over top of that register there. So very, very, very fast, easy, effective. The chenille microfiber just kind of picks up and grabs all of that dust. So again, you can lightly spritz this with water if you're doing a job that has a little bit more of that built-up, clumpy type dust on it. Okay, and then lastly, I would clean my floors. So this is our mop system. Our mop system comes with two mop pads. This one is called our superior mop system. We also have a mini mop system, which means the mop pads are smaller. So the superior mop pads, we have a yellow dry mop pad and a blue wet mop pad. How old are these? This is my five and a half year old mop system. So I've been using these mop pads for many, many still years. soft. And they still work great. So this one you can tell, you know, maybe a little bit stained, but it still works great. So this one is for your dry mop, dusting the floors essentially, picking up the dog hair, all that stuff. And then this one is used for your wet mop. So this one you use damp. So I'm going to demonstrate with the dry. With the dry. That's what I need to start with. So I have this on my base. I'm going to stand on the base, turn the handle to the left to loosen it, bring it up to about my nose or my mouth, and then turn it to the right to tighten it. And I will go along the edge here. And back. I didn't take my little carpet out of here, but that's okay. You'll still get the idea of how this works. Go back here. So typically what I do is I do more of a, I'm just going to move this out of the way so it's a little easier for me to demonstrate. I do more of a figure eight type movement with the mop pad, kind of like this, as I'm going along the surface to pick up and collect things. And then once I've collected everything, I'll lower the mop handle, so lefty loosey. Very turn tidy. It, turn it to the left to loosen, turn it to the right to tighten. And then I would take this cool tool called the rubber brush. You can't really see a whole lot of debris and stuff on here. But I would take and I would empty it into the trash. So think about all the hair, the pet hair, the dust, all that stuff that you'd be collecting. 
you'd be able to just quickly go through your surfaces super fast and easy and then you take your rubber brush and empty it into the trash. Then when you're done with this, you would take this off. So it's this Velcro base. You would get this mop pad damp. So when I'm saying damp, I really do mean that. I want to get it wet and then I want to wring it out. So sometimes with this one, I'll just kind of be a little bit more lightly getting it wet and then use the squeezing part to kind of get the rest of the water onto the mop pad because you want the microfiber to do the cleaning. The water isn't really doing the cleaning, the microfiber is. The water is just kind of helping the microfiber connect more with the surface so that it's more effective at removing the dirt. So stand on it, lefty loosey, righty tighty. And what's really great about this mop system, I want to get under this rug. There we go. It's easier to do it without the rug, but at least if I'm under it. But what's great about it is everything dries super, super fast. So you can clean your floor in no time. And then you can walk on it right away. It's not like you have to go and trap yourself into a corner of your room somewhere and be like, okay, when's my floor going to be dry, right? We've all done that. You know what I'm talking about, right? Mm -hmm. So this is where you can save so much time is with this mop system. So fast and easy and does an amazing job. And like I said before, there's no sticky residue. So it's safer. So no paws are walking on chemicals, no bare feet, no little baby hands are walking or crawling on chemicals and then putting their hands in their mouth. Mm. It's truly, truly safe because you're just cleaning with water. And your surface will stay cleaner longer and it will be more protected because you're not putting something that's going to cause a buildup or leave a residue behind. So does that kind of make sense? So I wash my stuff when I feel ready. Um, I did go ahead and bring in my detergent. If there's one thing that you really need to make a change with, it would be what laundry detergent you're using. Because traditional laundry detergent has so many fillers in it, it stays stuck in your clothes, it doesn't rinse out completely, and then all those chemicals are sitting on your body, and guess what? They're getting into your bloodstream. And that's where we can see a lot of people maybe having um, issues with headaches, um, issues with skin conditions, or just irritation of the skin. So it can really affect us in a lot of negative ways. And most of us are wearing clothes, well, probably 99% of our day, <laughs> right? And when we're sleeping in bed, even if we don't have pajamas on, we're still sleeping on sheets that have been laundered in that detergent. And so it's important that we're using something that is safe and free from any harmful ingredients, but cleanly and completely rinses out of your clothes. So if you have a high efficiency machine, you can get away with using as little as a half a teaspoon per load. So I'm guesstimating that's about a half. If you have hard water, you might need to increase that to about one. If you have a traditional top loader, which is what I have, I use about one and a half teaspoons, which is about a half of this scoop that comes in it. Um, so the traditional top loader, you use more because there's more water. Um, so you can get away with using very, very little. So little goes a long way. No harmful ingredients whatsoever. Everything rinses out completely. So your clothes will naturally feel softer um, and they'll last longer. The fabrics will last longer as well. And then nothing um, that's going to harm our waterways and our ground is going to be rinsing down into your sewer or your septic tank or whatever you have. So it's safer that way as well. So think about all of the things that we talked about here. Um, that's just a great way to transform your home, create a healthy, healthy home without any of those harmful chemicals. And I know I showed you how to use these products here in the bathroom, but you can use these products 
all throughout your entire, entire home. So this Enviro cloth, use it all throughout your home. We have some great cloths for the kitchen. Um, but wipe down your cabinets with this. Take all that grime off. If somebody's been ill in your home, go around and wipe down the handles so that you know that it's clean. You can wipe down the little fingerprints and stuff that you've got around your door. You can do just about anything with this cloth when it comes to cleaning. Just get it damp and clean. Have your window cloth available when you want to have it nice and streak free. Dusting mitt. Well, I mean, everybody's got dust. Get, grab yourself a couple of these, and I'm, I'm telling you, dusting will actually be almost fun. <laughs> Um, but let me know if you have questions. I am happy to help. Um, but I'm going to have Conley go ahead and hand me the phone. And I'll just finish up with a couple things here. I'm going to switch this around. Here we are in the mirror. <laughs> okay. Say hello. Hi. So this is Hi. my daughter Conley. She's the one who was helping us tonight. So... Thank you so much, sweetie. Appreciate your help. So I'm going to just set this down on my little tripod. And hello, hello. I want you all to just kind of tell me what you're thinking, what kind of questions you have, all of that good stuff. I am here to help. Let me make this a little bit more rated PG and sh throw my shirt up a little bit. <laughs> that just embarrassed my daughter. <laughs> Um, so what do you see these products replacing in your home? What's underneath your um, sink in your kitchen, for example, that you could get rid of when you switch to these products? Anything come to mind now that you've seen a few of them in action? All those chemicals can be replaced for sure. So your all-purpose kitchen cleaner, um, your window cleaner, Ask all that paper towel. Specifics and she'll give you a Norwex solution. That's right. Do you have something specific in mind? Like, I really need a solution for something else. You know, just, I can't stand cleaning this. What's my Norwex solution? I have a really hard time cleaning this. What's my Norwex solution? Yes, Windex is definitely something we can get rid of. And Windex doesn't always do the best job, does it? So our products will cut through all the stuff, all the grime, super fast and easy, one time through, and you don't have to keep smearing things around and trying it again and again. Again, you're chemically cleaning, so, or I mean you're mechanically cleaning, not chemically cleaning. So you are actually removing the dirt and the grime and you can feel when it's removed you can feel when it's clean so your surface just looks better feels better your whole home feels healthier when you use Norwex which is really great so I want to share a little bit about my personal story for those of you who don't know um, what do I use for dishes great question so we do have a really cool netted dishcloth that I use along with um, our dishwashing liquid for hand washing we have some great sponges for dishwashing as well. And then we also have great products for in the dishwasher. We have an Ultrazyme um, dishwashing powder or dishwasher powder and an Ultrazyme rinse aid. Um, so we do have some fantastic, fantastic products for cleaning in the kitchen and doing dishes. Um, but when I was first introduced to Norwex, I was really, really struggling with a lot of health issues. Um, I had asthma and allergy issues, fibromyalgia, food sensitivities, um, hormonal issues. I mean, the, the list really could go, go on and on. And I didn't realize that the stuff that I was putting on my body, the stuff that I was breathing in in my own home, the stuff I was using in my home um, to clean was actually preventing my body from healing. So I don't know if you are familiar with... Um, different chronic issues that people have. If you've maybe even noticed a trend and gosh, it seems like so many people have 
allergies these days, or it seems like way more people are being mm -hmm. diagnosed with this chronic condition, you know, this autoimmune disorder. Um, why are so many kids being diagnosed with autism? You know, all of those things. Why are cancer rates going through the roof? You've probably noticed these trends. <laughs> so yes, please comment if you have noticed some of those trends. Um, I do want to hear from you for sure. Um, but what we don't realize often is that the stuff that we are breathing in, putting on our bodies, using to clean our homes, is actually suppressing our immune system because our bodies are beautifully and wonderfully designed to flush toxins out. But if all we are doing is constantly, um, constantly trying to flush those toxins out, if all we're doing is introducing more toxins into our system and it can't keep up with what's already in there, the body is weakened, the immune system is weakened. Does that kind of make sense? Um, so I had a very, very high body burden. We all have a certain level of a body burden, but because mine was elevated, I was experiencing health, health issues that I didn't need to be experiencing. So once I was introduced to Norwex and I started making this switch, my stuff is gone. I don't have food sensitivities anymore. I don't have allergies. I don't have asthma. I don't have uh, thyroid issues anymore. I mean, I don't have any of that stuff because my body was able to heal. Now, I'm not saying that Norwex is some sort of miracle cure or by any means, but just think about how simple that is. If you're not introducing tons and tons of chemicals and toxins into your system, doesn't that give your body the opportunity to flush stuff out? so that your immune system can work properly. Doesn't that kind of make sense? Um, so comment, let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to help. Um, I'm here because I really truly believe in these products. Um, my daughter who was just in here, she's missed only one day of school in the last five and a half years due to illness. So I know these products work. We rarely, rarely, rarely get sick. And if we do, we can recover very quickly because we aren't suppressing our immune systems. We are introducing unnecessary things into our environment. So there's pollutants out there. There's stuff that we're not gonna be able to control, but you have complete and total control over what you bring into your home. You have control over what you are washing your hair with, what you're cleaning your face with, what you're putting on your body, what you're cleaning your clothes with, what you're cleaning your home with, you have control over those things. And so Norwex is here to provide solutions for you so that you can create a healthier, safer home, truly healthier and safer home. What questions do you have for me? Please drop the questions, comments, anything that's been surprising to you. Um, I want to hear from you absolutely for sure. I'm very happy that you're here and joining this, um, this demonstration tonight. Um, but a couple things, so I put the link in uh, the description for the demo, so you can go ahead and place your order at any time here. Um, and I also want to encourage you to um, check out the Safe Haven 5 set. Let me grab this brochure. I know I'm backwards now, but the Safe Haven 5 set is a really, really great starter package. Um, there's two packages I highly recommend all newbies have. One is the Just Add Water package. I love that one because it comes with the mop system and all the other stuff that I kind of talked about tonight, except the cleaning paste. Um, and then the toilet stuff is separate. The toilet, the bathroom cleaner and the brush, that is separate. Um, but the Safe Haven 5 comes with the Enviro cloth, the window cloth, the dusting mitt, the cleaning paste, and the detergent. So we do have um, a new packaging for the detergent, just so you are aware. Of. That's why this one looks slightly different than the one here on the picture. Um, but those are things that every, every home needs. And then the fastest way to get your home on track, ditch those chemicals, and get your home on track for creating that true safe haven and that healthy, safe home is by hosting a demonstration. And you can do that locally with me if you live in the Kalamazoo area, 
or you can do one online, kind of like what we're doing tonight. Um, so I am really excited to be able to um, share these products and tell people about these products and get them into your home because they are truly going to make such a huge impact on your overall health and the health of your family. Um, so I want everyone to be able to experience that healthy home transformation and start to feel better and feel like they are just overall healthier, not getting sick as often, and protecting their family from the dangers of those harmful chemicals. I want to encourage you to do some research on what these harmful chemicals harmful chemicals can do to your system. Um, one thing that I recently learned was that um, according to a study by the University of Texas, only 5 to 10 percent of all cancer cases are due to a genetic defect. Um, so when I thought about cancer back in the day, I thought, well, it's just something that they're born with, you know, something they have a genetic predisposition for. Um, but that's not the case. Um, their conclusion from this study is that cancer is preventable because 90 to 95 percent of all cancer cases have to do with our environment and our lifestyle choices. So we know if we're going to smoke or drink a lot of alcohol, we are increasing our chances of having cancer, right? We are increasing our chances of having health issues. But the stuff that's in our environment, we are not always all that familiar with, and we don't always realize that it's doing more harm than good. And so we can absolutely control that. Um, so I want to help all of you feel like you have complete and total control over what is happening in your own home when it comes to the stuff that you are purchasing. So you have your Enviro cloth, window cloth, dusting mitt. This stuff is going to last you 7 to 10 years with proper use and care. How do you wash it? Wash it with our detergent or wash it with something free and clear, super gentle. But this is the best for sure. Wash it when you feel like you need to. Like, okay, I've used this on my toilet. It's time for me to wash it. <laughs> But the microsilver does self-purify the cloth, so you could hang it to dry and use it the next day if you want to. Um, and then just make sure you don't use any bleach, fabric softener, dryer sheets, um, and don't wash it with linty items. So if you have like brand new bath towels, don't wash this with brand new bath towels because the lint will actually be attracted onto the microfiber and then you'll be picking it off and that won't be fun. So lint-free, no bleach, no fabric softener, no dryer sheets, and of course, use the Norwex detergent if you are able. So this is going to help them last a really, really long time. So you can save hundreds of dollars a year when you make the switch to Norwex because you're not going to have to buy anything disposable. Disposable mop pads, the pop-up wipes, the crazy amounts of paper towel, or any of the sprays. All that stuff you don't have to worry about buying anymore. You just make this switch. Things are simpler. Things are safer. Safer for you, safer for the environment, safer for the planet, all of those good things. So anybody have any questions, drop them uh, here um, in the comments. I want to hear from you. I want to see how you're doing. This is a new journey, something exciting that you're going to start with. And it's been just the tip of the iceberg. I want to just kind of quick show you. Because I mentioned that there's a tons, there's just tons of Norwex in my bathroom. So we have skincare, we have lip balm, we have makeup removal cloths, we have body cloths, we have a hair turban, we have towels. That's a bath towel. This is a hand towel. We have peppermint foaming hand wash. We have body lotion. I mean, the amount of Norwex in my bathroom, it truly is crazy. We have a back scrubber and another body cloth up there that my husband uses. We have this cool facial scrub mat, the body wash, the Lacerre shampoo and conditioner, the foot stone. <laughs> I mean, can you, are you getting the idea here that I've just barely touch the surface with the stuff that I did tonight for this demo. I mean, we have so many, so many solutions, which just makes it so much fun. Um, so anything that you can think of that you have, you really dread doing, there's a Norwex solution for it. 
let me tell you. And it's going to make it so much faster, so much easier, and of course, so much safer. Um, so thanks for letting me clean my bathroom tonight. It's kind of fun that I needed to do it anyway. And I kind of think of it as I'm getting paid to clean my bathroom <laughs> because you all are watching and you're learning about Norwex. And I know you're probably thinking, I gotta have this stuff. And that's totally, totally what happens most of the time. So I totally get it. Um, so the link again is in the description. You can go ahead, get started with a Safe Haven 5 set or the um, Just Add Water package. Again, the fastest, quickest way to really make an impact and create that healthy home is to get started with one of our great starter sets and host a demonstration. Um, did you all have any questions about what I do as a consultant? I'm happy to ha happy to order um, help you with that. Hey, thank you, Jennifer, for your order. I appreciate that. Um, any questions that you have about what I do as a consultant? I'm, I'm fair game. Anything. Throw it out there. How do you get started? How much money do you make? Ask away. Ready? Band. I know somebody's got a question. silence. As soon as I start talking and moving on, you're probably all going to have some questions for me. So maybe I should do that, right? I'm moving on. Too late. <laughs> now, seriously, any questions you have for me, I am most happy to help. It's been a very, very nice journey for me. And I work this business very part time. Um, I love the people that I meet. I love the people that I work with. But even on a part-time basis, I've been able to really make life-changing um, moves in my life. We've moved into our dream home. My husband um, started a restaurant. Uh, I just launched my own um, cosmetics line. Um, so lots of really, really cool things because Norwex is providing the income for me to do that. I don't have to worry about a full-time job. My daughter's private school tuition is covered. Uh, for now, and her college tuition is going to be covered in the future, which is really, really cool. So maybe you have a specific need. Um, you maybe have, uh, hey, if I could just have a couple extra hundred bucks every month to cover the cost of hockey, you know, or whatever. I know some of those um, activities that our kids can be involved in can be a little bit um, costly at times. Um, so let me know how I can help. I would be delighted to just have a conversation with you to see if Norwex may be a good fit. But I'm going to sign off for now. Again, that um, link is in the description, so you can go ahead and get your shopping done. And please don't hesitate to ask any questions. I am definitely happy to help. Thanks, everyone. You have a great day.